Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV Patch 6.3 with Mimioni. Today we're looking at the Gold Saucer Edition, specifically the brand new mount. So if we want to get a hold of this, we need quite a lot of MGP. In fact, we need 4 million MGP, which shouldn't be too much of an issue if you, like myself, have been doing the uh, Medeville Gold Saucer events each and every week, including Fashion Report, which I do videos every Friday on, so make sure you do those. I'm currently capped, so I'm happy to have something to spend my MGP on. If we come to the uh, prize claim vendor, I think it's, what, number three? Yeah, it is. We have the Blackjack Identification Key. 4 million MGP. I cannot wait to get this. It says, a thin rectangular piece of what appears to be Sermit. Placing it near the blackjack will magically bring the vessel to life. Let's get this. Oh, it feels bad to spend that much, but also really good. Now we're down to 6 million MGP left. Oof, we could buy another one if we wanted to. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at this and uh, see what it's like. Alrighty, so we came to a nice open area, one of my favourite parts of the game, the Azim Step. I love this place, mostly for its big open areas and relatively decent weather. So let's have a look at this then. Whew, the Blackjack Authentication Key, or Identification Key rather. So, on the mount guide, we'll have a look at what this is. So, as you can see, it is a four-person mount. For 4 million gills. So that makes it 1 million gill per player, basically. That's what they're working it out at. It says, summon forth your blackjack, or rather its scale prototype. Exactly where inside it you ride is a mystery best left unanswered. Commissioned by Chairman Tatabaru of Highwind Skyways to, de to develop a new airship, the engineers of Garland Ironworks produced uh, this scale prototype for testing purposes. Despite its diminutive size, it boasts an impressive loading capacity and can easily carry you and a few friends. So let's summon this up first of all. Oh, it's a big one. It's not as big as perhaps some people would have expected. Not as big as perhaps the lunar whale. I don't know. I don't, it doesn't feel like that. It does look fantastic, though. And if we listen carefully, let's turn up some of the sound effect volumes here. We've got a really, really nice airship noise as it's stationary with the whirling blades here. Look at that. That's a really nice mount, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, I see what they mean now. Where exactly do you sit in this? <laughs> We're not going to fit in here, I don't think, unless it's like a coffin that we can just lift the lid of. Let's see what it looks like when we walk around. So on the ground, oh, it has this really loud sort of noise as you go. I like that. And as we take off, oh my goodness. This is one of the coolest looking mounts, man. I love airships, though, so I'm slightly biased, I think. Wow. Look at that. It really is... Style, isn't it? Overfunction. Yeah, this reminds me of old school Final Fantasy games. It, it's not a Final Fantasy game until you have an overworld with an airship. And, like, the fact that we're, it, it's kind of, like, undersized and, like, the scale's off actually adds to that. Because in the old Final Fantasy games, the scale wasn't perfect. It wasn't meant to be. So it feels more like we need to play from this angle zoomed out. <laughs> like, across a world map. Yeah, that, that feels very old school i like that i like the coloration as well the gold on there shines nicely it's just a really nice looking mount isn't it very impressive with that and uh up to four players you can't really go wrong with that so let's have a look what it sounds like um obviously what music have they put on this so generic mount music i'm guessing yeah Eh, that's a shame. For some reason in my head, I was kind of expecting, like, I don't know, the high wind theme or something. Anything, really. But yeah, what, what do you guys think? Is this worth 4 million MGP to you? What else are you going to spend it on, to be honest? I mean, the only reason I had the MGP I have is because of Fashion Report. 
and also because I've already purchased everything, you know, like, yeah, it's it's something that uh, I suppose most people will be saving up for. But like I say, if you want to get mounts like this, you know, it may sound like a lot of MGP, but if you do it every week, the fashion report minigame, amongst other things in there, like your challenge log, you'll get this in no time. Very cool stuff. There is one other thing I want to test on this, though. What does it look like when it goes through the water? <laughs> I can't imagine. I suppose it would just look like a, a submarine, but I need I need to see this firsthand. Oh, my goodness. It is such a good day when, when you can wake up and get another MGP mount. I do like that. Right, let's let's lower the speed to a walk. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I was expecting really. It it just <laughs> it just looks like a submarine now, which is no bad thing at all. I really like that. Really, really, really like that. Anyway, let me know what you think about this mount. Obviously, it's slightly disappointing that it's got generic mount music, but. What piece of music would you have used? I would have loved to uh, to have seen some kind of, like, I don't know, airship theme from any of the Final Fantasy games. Uh, any of the old ones. But there we go. Anyway, more videos on the way. 6.3 is massive. Lots of things to cover. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.